they're having their ones just smiling and we've made it through to the National League playoffs. Yeah, um, I don't know what all the fuss was about really. Um, I don't know why people doubted it. Uh, we've been a playoff side team all, all season, Grant, and um, oh, sorry. Uh, we've been a playoff team all season, and I think you saw today um, when we when we had to deliver, uh, we delivered. Um, you look at Luke, you look at that changing room. Um, I feel like a very proud father with them, you know. Um, so very, yeah, very happy. And it's a, it's been a long, hard season. It had it had its ups and its downs, but a fourth place finish in the National League for Bournemouth. What a fantastic achievement that is. Um, it's a massive achievement no matter who you are. Um, this is a tough league. Um, it's hard for me to quantify it, uh, how I feel really. Um, yeah, fourth in the National League, but it's, it's when you look at the strength of the clubs behind us. Um, but we're here now, you know, so you know, let's not make the numbers up. I mean, I think, who's coming here? Filed? Filed on Thursday. Filed on Thursday. So, um, yeah, they're, we know they're a great side. You know, you don't do what, you know, you don't draw with Wiggins and that in the FA Cup like they have. They've got the top goal scorer in the league. And, um, but they've got to come here and, you know, they've got to wrestle it off us, you know. Little clubs like us don't get these opportunities often. We've been in two playoff finals before and we've won them both. Or two playoffs, I should say. Um, so, you know, bring on Thursday. We'll be ready, Fire will be ready, the pitch will be ready, the occasion will be there. This town will turn out. Trust me, the town will turn out. And um, I just can't be proud of you know the town, the club, the players, the manager, but especially the manager. What a uh, what a job he's done. And talking about supporters, they're, they're making a plenty of noise in the bar there. They came out in partially their numbers today, but let's get them out in full force on Thursday. Yeah, but the ones who've been with us from the start of the season, they're all here. You know, we can talk about you know again. Every time I do an interview, people want to talk about our crowds. You know, just talk about our achievement. You know, you know, I wouldn't swap them. I wouldn't swap them for all the tea in China, and um, and they'll be here. They'll be here on Thursday night. Trust me. Um, and we're going to have, you know, tonight's our presentation night, and we're going to have a we're going to have a night. You know, there'll be none of this. Um, oh, you know, they save everything. I want the players to enjoy tonight. I want them to enjoy today. Uh, I want them to enjoy the occasion on Thursday. Um, you know, we fancy ourselves. Why? Because it's, we've, only got to, we've only got to please ourselves. You know, we go out on Thursday, I'm not going to have 2,000 people, you know, beckoning for Luke's head. You know, it, this, is, this is Bournemouth at his best. And it has been a remarkable season. I think the whole club, from, from yourself down to the players and down to the, 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 the staff that work behind the scenes, deserve an, an enormous amount of credit. All credit to the staff. All credit to the dressing room. Um, all I do is set a structure up. All I do is guide when maybe people need that little bit of guidance. Everything else comes from, from people, you know, you pick the right people because you believe in what they can do. And um, look at what they've done. I mean, today could have been 8, 9, 10, 1. You know, I know guys have been relegated, but, um, you know, they came in and give it a go. Um, but like I say, you know, Ferran and Andrade are a problem for any side. Bruno's a problem, um, uh, you know, on his own. Now he's got Morgan with him. You know, and you look at Angelo in there behind him, and you look at, like I said before, people like Steve and Tom Champion. You know, I think we've got the best goalkeeper in the league. Uh, Kane Smith was, was immense today in that little curler for the third goal. You know, he came here from Hitchin. You know, he's on 30 bob and all he could eat last year, and now you look at him, he's getting better and better and better. He's now in England C International. You know, I, could, I could keep talking, I could talk about Danny Woodard, so I could talk about Shakespeare. Um, Kieran Murtagh's immense. Um, you know, our skipper Mark Ricketts. I could go on, you know, I mean, you know, no doubt I'm leaving people out. You know, you look at the management team, you look at the, the, the medical department, you look at you know, the hospitality and the bar staff, the cleaners, everybody has played their part. And that's what makes us special. And you mentioned it in your interview uh, earlier on in the week, we're in the playoffs and nobody's gonna, no one's going to want to play ball and wood. You wouldn't, though, would you? You wouldn't. I said to you all, what are you all panicking about last week? You know, football always does what you don't expect it to. You know, Gates said, 
I mean, Ebsfleet went to Gates, didn't they? They won by five. Suddenly everyone thought Torquay was going to be a cakewalk. That football don't work like that. If I had to go to Wrexham, just think of the size of Wrexham. Whether they could get in the playoffs or not, you know, there's probably seven, 8,000 Welsh down there, and as, like I said the other day, they can sing a bit. It's, but they're Wrexham, the pride of Wales, you know. You, you know, Fylde are going there as an underdog team. It's funny, like, the two underdog teams are, are meeting on Thursday. So one of us is, you know, one of us is going to the semi-final. Um, obviously, we just hope it's us. Well, for myself, uh, congratulations on firstly getting into the playoffs, and uh, on to Thursday, let's hope we can continue the run. Well, let's hope that, but whatever happens, you know, fourth in the league, first time in the playoffs, three games, three wins, we could be a football league club, you know, so, you know, football's about dreaming, so we, we can dream tonight. Thank you, Chairman. God bless you. Thanks, Lee.